Hello, welcome to Normal Game Couch. I'm just waiting for the uh, moment of silence. Give a chance for the ads to play, so I'm not all janky at the intro here. At the return of consciousness that closed before the pity of those two relations which utterly within sadness had confused me. New torments I behold, and new tormented, around me whichsoever way I move, and whichsoever way I turn and gaze, eternal. Maledict and cold and heavy, its law and quality are never new. And thus I begin the third circle of couch. Welcome to Normal Game Couch. That was an excerpt from the excellent, excellent book, Dante's Inferno. A oh, little bookmark in the way there. It is a great read. I highly uh, recommend it. If you're into uh, heavy reading, uh, heavy reading, I don't know, complicated, complex thoughts and uh, narratives. It's a great book. Uh, it's not for everyone, but it's a great book. I, I, I highly, uh, highly recommend it. I've been quoting it uh, at the beginning of each stream since I've started uh, Nine Circles of Couch. Today is the third circle. Uh, that is gluttony. Uh, I'm not trying to keep track of this, but I just happened to remember that the third circle uh, is gluttony uh, today. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, we're going to play through the first half of Act 2. It's all, uh, uh, um, scheduled. Uh, it's broken up into nine pieces for Nine Circles of Hell and in regards to the show, Nine Circles of Couch. So today is Episode 3, the first half of Act 2 of Diablo 3. Um, so we just left, uh, New Tristram and came up to this uh, this new area. Uh, this whole area has a very uh, Diablo two loot Golane feel, uh, which is awesome because uh, I love that part of Diablo two. Here we are, Chaldeum, Jewel of the East. Uncle Deckard loved this place. He wouldn't now that it is under the spell of Belial, Lord of Lies. I can smell his stench on the air. You two try to find out where Belial is, while I hunt down Magda. Your uncle will be avenged, Leah. All right. Um, let's see. Go to the Chaldeum Bazaar. I think I'm good to go here. I got my uh, my smelly pants on. Yes, that's a thing. And uh, go to the bazaar, the Chaldeum Bazaar. God, where do these refugees come from? I am not a god. I am a Shira, commander of the Iron Wolves. We saved these refugees from Magda's coven. It even now wreaks havoc throughout the borderlands. I am hunting Magda. Do you know where she's going? She's heading toward Alcarnas, but has blocked the road behind her. However, there is another way. Through the Kasim outpost. The Kasim outpost. Well, she's got some stuff to say. I like to hear what she has to say. All of these people have fled from the cultists in Alcarnas. They are refugees far from their homes. Why can't they enter the city? The Imperial Guard lets no one in. These people are sentenced to a slow death. The Iron Wolves were mercenaries until we helped the Zakarim priests find the successor to the first Emperor Hakan. We became the Emperor's personal guard after that, but everything changed a few months ago when the first refugees began arriving. 
An Imperial Guard was created to protect the citizens from the refugees while we were out in the desert fighting the Coven and their demon spawn. Eventually, they took over. I'm already feeling a lot, a lot better here than I did yesterday. I couldn't really get the, the microphone to feel right in my positioning on the screen. Everything just fell off yesterday. I don't know what was up with that, but uh, I feel a lot better uh, today than I did yesterday from the, uh, the heat. heat. The summer heat was not feeling well, but I'm feeling good now. Uh, mentally and physically, I'm ready to do this. Ready to do this, man. Probably for like the next four hours. So yeah, I'm I'm ready. Tyrion and I learned that while the Iron Wolves were fighting Magda in the desert, the Emperor replaced them with Imperial Guards who bar all from the inner city. I suspect that the Iron Wolves were sent out to die. Belial has made his move. We must find a way into the city. As a child, I explored Chaldean while Uncle Deckard studied here. I can get in through the sewers. Good. Learn what you can, while I hunt Magda. Be careful. Alcarna sounds like Magda's trap. Alright, go through the Sundered Canyon. Alright, um, I could explore Chaldeum, but, uh, it, it's nothing really but flavor text out here, so I'm just gonna go ahead on. You will need to follow the long road over the canyon bridge and through the Kasim outpost. We haven't heard anything from the Iron Wolves in the desert. If you make it to the Kasim outpost, seek out Captain D. Sorry, uh, sorry, seek out Captain Who. I, I didn't realize he was still talking. Uh, I go back and give this guy another, another chance to tell me that. His word bubble disappeared. Ah, uh, whatever. Man. Well, I mean... It doesn't really matter. I know the narrative of the story. It doesn't really matter what his name is. There's a guy out there that we need to talk to. Take heed, traveler. Cultists guard these desert roads, and they will slay any who pass. That's excellent. I have some questions for these cultists. You mean to kill them, do you not? I shall come along. <sighs> <laughs> they seek to kill whoever may pass. That's excellent. To some, but I can see them for what they are. The coven's foul magic. They will lead you to your death. Oh, I've dealt with this coven before. This guy's uh, sense of humor is very understated. I, uh, I got a friend, Brutal Snake. We, we did a couple episodes of uh, my other show together. And... Uh, I noticed when I was editing the episodes, he has a very understated uh, sense of humor, very dry, uh, and secretly witty. And uh, this guy kind of reminds me of that. This guy kind of reminds me. He's got like the same kind of sense of humor. So these, these things are, they remind me of uh, Reptile from the Mortal Kombat movie. These uh, lacuni things. And look at them, that's Reptile. From the movie, not the games. That thing in the movie was kind of, kind of an abomination, but you know. Oh, come on, you're gonna... Alright. He flew out of bounds. What am I supposed to do with that? Stay back. They're in the rocks. Take that, reptile. I require more rats. How did you know about 
about the ambush? I am an enchantress. The ways of magic and illusion are familiar to me. My name is Arena. And I am a crusader. Nice to meet you, Irena. Why are you out here? Well, I am also looking for someone. But here, let me clear the way for you. Okay. <laughs> it took her a while. Captain, from behind. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Protect Sorry, guys. Talk to Iron Wolf Jarul. If not for you, the Lacuni would have eaten well this day. A Jarulf. Are there more Lacuni on the road to Alcanus? Even worse. Cultists are casting spells in two of their desert lairs to obscure the Black Canyon Bridge. Let us head north to the Howling Plateau. The cultist magic seems to be emanating from there. Okay, that thing just moved. Uh yeah, all right. Um so yeah, I'm I'm just going to I'm going to look around. I like to uh personally I like to explore the maps to 100% completion. I don't know if a lot of other people do that, and if they do, they probably don't do it while they're streaming. But uh there's always stuff to see. So you might think it's overkill, but I mean, you to Tune in to, to see some stuff, don't you? I'll show you some stuff. If we follow these prints, we can find their lairs and halt the rituals. I will seek out any other traces of their magic. All right, there's a little cave over here. Let's check this out. Sirocco Caverns, level one. Making sure I didn't miss a uh, a turn back there. So uh, the ultimate goal 
is to play... I've divided the game into nine parts. Um, all relatively equal in length. Uh, well, I'll say relatively equal in scope. Um, uh, I've divided the game into nine parts, and uh, I'm playing the game over nine sessions. Uh, over the next few weeks, you can see the schedule below. Uh, culminating in uh, day nine of Nine Circles of Couch, the final circle. So yeah, the goal the goal here is to play through the entire game, and that's that's not normally something I do on uh, normal game couch. Normally, we kind of take a look each week at like the different games that span the breadth of the uh, PlayStation 4 library, but I thought Diablo 3 was worth it, so... I just kind of felt like playing through the whole thing on the stream. Like, I really need a reason, more of a reason to play Diablo 3. Come on. All right. And that should be level two, right. I'm not ready for that yet. Um, there's still some more stuff on this level that I want to see. Um, I think this might go in like a big circle and wrap around to the bottom part again. That's what I think is going to happen. I could be wrong. It's it's random every time, but it's it's randomized from like preset assets, some of which I recognize, but, uh, this is kind of hedging a bit m more north than I, uh, I remembered from previous playthroughs, so it may not wrap around. We'll see. Uh, yeah, it's coming around. It looks, it looks like it'll probably connect on the other side. I'm looking at the, the mini-map down there, trying to guess, trying to guess where this is going to, where this is going to finish, finish off that here. Guard Morrow. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. So far, I really dig the Crusader. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that, like, all of his high-level equipment is, isn't going to have, like, this, like, holy armor look. Like, I get it. It's cool, and I appreciate that for now. But, uh, y you know, a holy armor kind of has, like, a cheesy look to it after a while. And if, if I'm seeing that for, like, the next 60 levels or so, eh. I mean, I get that he's a crusader. He He's, uh, he's in a, uh, kind of a, a holy battle against evil. Like, that's great. I can totally get behind him on that. But... You know, I don't necessarily want my character to look like, uh... You know, like, holy cheesy all the time. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the Crusader's armor has a very, um... Like the kind of thing you would see more on like a Game of Thrones rather than like a fantasy video game. And I appreciate that. I think it's cool to see, uh... some kind of faux realism in a game like this when it comes to the armor. Because the first Diablo was like that. Uh, 
the second Diablo, and even the third Diablo, uh, to a point, get kind of uh, over the top with their armor. And that's cool. It's a video game. You're supposed to. But one of the first things I really noticed that was distinct about the Crusader that really made me like him as a class was that the armor seemed mostly, like, realistic. It wasn't so over the top. Like, I can deal with over the top, of course. I can totally deal with over the top. It was just refreshing to see, like, a suit of armor that looked like an actual suit of armor. And that went away when I started leveling up, but, you know... I think it'll come and go as I as I play through this through this game with this class. I think we'll see more of that. A realistic armor. I'm turn the volume down on my TV. Don't really know what the balance sounds like right now, but more stuff. I missed these guys on my first my first pass through. Okay. I think that completes this level, so we're ready to go down. Oh. More bats. Okay. Ready to go down to the next level. Next level. Sirocco Caverns level two. Fortune Shrine. Twenty five plus twenty five percent magic and gold find. Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. Whoa, hey. Yeah, starting to exhibit some of that holy lameness, which is too bad. I mean, this is, this is, this, the thing about Diablo is, uh, no, uh, one piece lasts all that long on your character. Cause you know, it's a loot fest. This game is a loot fest. Uh, you're always going to be getting better pieces. Um... Okay. Uh, let me just check the map, make sure... Yeah, there's not much to the second level. Uh, but yeah, they, you're not going to be stuck looking a certain way for too long. Uh, I, I've kind of I've kind of been hanging on to this uh, Leoric's crown a little longer than I would have liked to have. Uh, but, you know, I'm not prepared to ditch a quality item just because I don't like the way it looks. You know, I don't operate like that. Um... I'm sure, probably pretty soon here, I'll be getting a better helm anyway. Look, more hidden footprints. So, uh, right, right now there is a blocked passage um, that is being a. Uh, uh, alterated by mages hidden in sieges underground. Yes, I just used the word siege. They're not technically sieges. I'm just thinking about Dune. 
because of all the 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 worms and desert in this area. But uh, but yeah, there's there's a, a, a past that's being alterated, if you will, uh, by mages underground. Uh, those mages exist in two places. I am on my way to one of those places now to disrupt their uh, ceremony or their spell casting. And when I say I'm on, on my way to one of the, those places now, I'm passively on my way to it. I'm not just making a beeline straight to it. I'm looking around. I'm taking in the sights. I'm killing the mobs, you know. Video game stuff. But I'm passively on my way there. I'm I'm heading in the general direction of the place. And when I find it, I'll go down and kill some mages. I see a treasure chest. Uh, oh, there it is. That's a, that's a well-hidden staircase right there. Anything down here? Nope. Always got to check, man. So you know when you don't check, that's what... That's where the good stuff is. It's in the one place you didn't check. My friend uh, used to have a poster on his wall that said, You are here, and it had an arrow pointing to uh, the galaxy. And then way off to the side in the blackness of space, it said, All the good stuff is here. So, you are here, all the good stuff is here. And that's kind of how I feel about loot collecting in Diablo. So I can't like let an opportunity pass me by to uh, to to maybe find that epic piece of loot that would really drastically change my character. You know what I mean? So you know, I I admit, you know, I probably go a little a little harder on 100%ing the areas than most people would, but that's what's fun to me. And at the end of the day, I want to play this game on the stream the way I would play it if I wasn't streaming. Because to me, that's authentic. I don't. I would. I don't want to lie to uh, uh, you know my viewership or put on a uh, facade uh, just to uh, facilitate uh, you know someone else's uh, vicarious gameplay. I don't do that. I refuse to because I think that's uh, that's not uh, that's not an honest way to stream. So I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the way I'm gonna play, and if you find it boring, well then this isn't the stream for you because that's not gonna change. I'm all about the, uh, I'm all about slow burn gameplay. That's what I'm into, man. I mean, I don't even know if that's like a, like, I don't know if there's like a better term for it or a term for it at all. But I am all about slow burn gameplay. There keeps being more of them. I require more rat. Come on. I like, I completely, uh, uh, out of my way to kill the mobs that kept on coming at me. I think some loot dropped back on the other side of this, uh, this bridge here. So, I'm gonna head back and check. Chest there. Wait, where's the, where's the lever for that? Huh? Is it up, is it up here? Yeah, I think it is. That's cool. I, I haven't seen that yet. I've played this game a lot. Uh, you know, I mean, like, more than a couple times. 
Uh, I haven't seen this yet where the lever was... Oh, okay. That brings it up here. I thought that it would bring it up to the lower level and then I'd have to go back down and get it. Okay, never mind. The thing I haven't... The thing that I thought that I hadn't seen, I still haven't seen. <laughs> I was mistaken about the way that lever worked. Okay. Back on track. Kinda. Uh, one of these guys. I kill him before he gets away. And then I get all the goodies. They haven't been dropping anything really that great for me lately. Uh, plan is pretty good. I like plans. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Just nothing, nothing. Yeah, those, those goblin dudes haven't been really dropping anything good lately. I don't know why. Like, usually they drop amazing stuff. Look, more hidden I, haven't, I haven't been getting any of that. I don't know what's up with that. And when I say amazing, what I mean is, like, something better than worthless. <laughs> uh, they've, been they've been giving me some pretty worthless drops. Look, more hidden footprints. What you need, man, are, like... The bosses. The bosses tend to drop some really good stuff. You know, but then you go in there with that... Uh, with that expectation, and then you get nothing. <laughs> this is one of the cultist uh, layers. They are casting part of the illusion inside. Let's take them out. to the east of here. There, they tortured my poor husband. We will avenge him. I owe you my life. Shadows in the desert. Right. Look, more hidden footprints. I want to knock that thing down. All right. <laughs> All right. And this is where the uh, illusion is being cast. Um, I'm going to have to cross this bridge. Uh, but they are uh, making it, uh, they're using their magic to make it seem like the bridge is gone. 
uh, I'm pretty sure it's just an uh, just an illusion. Uh, so I should be able to brave that and walk across it anyway, but the game won't let me. Um, I guess, you know, I mean, we, uh, you know, we have to go and, and, and kill those, uh, those mages in the second area that are still casting that illusion. But, uh, that, that, that kind of is busy work because I, I really do feel like that's just an illusion and I should still be able to walk across it. But, you know, it's cool. It gives me more reason to, uh, to go kill some guys. So that's cool with me. No problem there. People don't play Diablo to not kill guys. Where am I going? Look, more there it footprints. is. This is one of the cultist lairs. They are casting part of the illusion inside. The ritual is disrupted. Dispel the coven's magic. Bless you. I can have bless you. All right. Tell me, what shall you do when Magda is dead? Her master Belial wants to invade Sanctuary. His brother Asmodan as well. I will kill them both, destroy their forces, and keep Sanctuary safe. How curious. You must be the one I was meant to find here. I think it is time for you to know my true tale. Oh, okay. I am not from Chaldeum. I learned these spells 1500 years ago. My sisters and I pledged our service to a man of great power. We called him the Prophet. He trained us and placed us in a magical slumber to awaken in this era. I am to prevent the Lords of Hell from invading. I think you're dangerous. I like that. Come, join me. Akarat favors me! Now to find the Kasim outpost. Rack an issue. Find Kasim Outpost, the road to Alcarnas. Let's get my bearings here. Find Kasim Outpost. 
Um, I seem to remember about this this area that it kind of it's like like four zones in one, and they're all connected with uh, like little passes. Um, which is cool, you know. But, uh, so in individually, these like four smaller areas don't uh, tax me too much in terms of time spent exploring. So it feels like, uh, it feels like you're making progress faster than you really are. Instead of relying on illusion, I'll have to go through Kasim outpost to the west. Yeah. So this is this is the way technically, but it's been blocked. So I got to go around. That would be the quick way there, but somebody doesn't like me poking around. Drop something good. These are kind of like the uh, the thief goblins in uh, Golden Axe. They're kind of the same same kind of deal. Man, dropped a lot, but a lot of crap. Man, what happened to those guys dropping good things? I heard that the uh, the loot the the loot dropping uh, system has been revamped for this version of the game. So those things probably just you know they're like a casualty of uh, of this new version, this new system. Yeah, you know, that's okay. I can appreciate, you know, that that part of the vision. Not not every part of the vision needs to work for me. You know, I can totally I can totally uh I can totally get behind the uh the idea that uh that you know, loot shouldn't be that easy to come by. I mean, this is Diablo, it's a loot fest. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, you don't want to throw too much good stuff at the player because you want them to appreciate what they have while they have it. And uh, I think Diablo strikes a good balance there. Because even like I said before, you know, I I'm, I'm kind of waiting to get rid of this helm. I definitely, like, I definitely appreciate it while I have it. Um, and I know that it'll be replaced here probably soon. And my character will look different, and you know, with, uh, generally speaking, the uh, the look of the character gets cooler as the loot gets better. Help me! I don't want to die. But that's very general. Uh, that's not always the case. There's a lot of high-level items that look pretty lame. But like I said, my concern for the group Crusader is that. He's going to have that holy lameness throughout. I hope that's not the case. I mean, face it, evil stuff looks cooler. There, I said it. Evil stuff looks cooler. Did I miss any part of that? No. Let's move on to the next section. Had enough. Had enough. My wrath is low. My wrath is low. These uh, flying enemies here uh, make me think of Wolverine. <laughs> like they're they're Wolverine bugs. It's just their color scheme makes me think of Wolverine. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I enjoyed that too, actually. That was pretty great. Another Wolverine fly. 
some more uh, reptile reptiles from Mortal Kombat movie. Bone heaps. Ah. Uh, what do we have here? Oh. Uh, Chamber of the Lost Idol. Lost Idol. I kind of bet you that there will not be a Lost Idol in this chamber. But let's go check it out. Maybe there will be. There's a quest here. That usually doesn't happen. Maybe I'm going to be wrong. We'll see. I've spent months searching these deserts for the Rignar Idol. It is yep. here, in these ruins. I know it. I've survived starvation, dehydration, cultists, demons. This place is too much for me. You look like you could help me find it. I've come too close. I can't fail now. I will help you. I thought uh, very incorrectly that the Lost Idol, Chamber of the Lost Idol, was just a cool sounding name, like 99% of everything else in Diablo. It's just a cool sounding name. But there ended up being an actual idol here. Who knew? that guy was dead. But yeah, normally, 9 times out of 10, 99 times out of 100, it's like, if it sounds cool, we'll call it that. And that sounds cool. So I just assumed. Okay. Died. Lead Poltar through the dungeon to find the Ragnar Idol. Yep. One of these guys, they give crappy items now. Don't go that way. I don't want to pull aggro. Stop it. All right, good. <laughs> he was like headed right into those mobs, dude. Thought I was going to get zerged. lasers. Never thought I'd have to worry about lasers in a Diablo game. I never thought I'd 
become a treasure hunter. But I also never thought my family's fortunes would sink so low. Yesterday, I heard a nobleman asking about the Rignar idol, an artifact that belonged to the great mage Zoltan Kul. If I can retrieve it, my family will never go hungry again. Zoltan Kul is awesome. Voiced by Steve Blum, apparently. He does an amazing job because it doesn't even sound like him. Probably my favorite, like, non-main character in the game. Zoltan Cool is awesome. He has that laugh. It's just epic. Epic. You'll see him. You'll see him eventually. I don't know if you see him in Act 2. I don't know if it's Act 2 or Act 3 that he pops up. But I played a bit of Act 2 on uh, my other character. And I haven't seen him yet, but I don't really remember exactly where I am in Act 2 with my other character. So I don't know if I'm, pa I'm doing half the Act tonight. Half of Act 2 tonight. And I don't know if he's in, in the first half or not. I can't recall exactly how far I made it. It was all worth it. Everything. Now that it is at hand, I find myself filled with trepidation. He's gonna pick what it up and die. I gotta take it for you. Oh, uh, this isn't gonna be good. This is gonna be like some Indiana Jones stuff here. Mm -hmm. Indiana Jones. And the chamber of the lost idol. Well, that was kind of easy. If you were here, your search is complete. You should return to Chaldea. Perhaps you're right. Thanks for helping me retrieve the idol and for saving my life. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was pretty good. I feel like I got some good items out of that one. See, that's why you always do the optional stuff, man. You know, I mean, you're not in a hurry. Why wouldn't you do the optional stuff? There's items in there for you to pick up. Why wouldn't you do it? You know, quests, sub-quests, and all that. There's stuff to do in there. And you advance your character. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I do all the optional stuff I can, I can get my hands on. I would really like to see um, Blizzard support this game with DLC, because I'll tell you right now, I'm I would probably buy every DLC for this game, just so there's more of it. Uh, I really like what's here, and in my opinion, they don't need to add anything. They didn't even need to add Act Five, but it's awesome that they did, and they also added some other features too, like a lot of end game content. Uh, but, uh, I would have been okay with none of that, but, uh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want more. So, yeah, I'm, pre I'm prepared to pretty much buy anything Blizzard puts out, man, in terms of DLC for this thing. Raise the level cap again, from 70 to 80. Maybe a new class. I don't really care so much about another class. But, uh, I guess another class would be cool. But, you know, more, uh, items. More skills would be awesome. I like to see more stuff that, like, uh, affects actual gameplay and character development. Like, that's what I'm interested in. I would like to see more of that. Another class would be icing on the cake, but it wouldn't be the cake. You know what I mean? Uh, 
these guys. Pop up so I can kill you. I'd like to see, uh, like, classic classes make a comeback. Like, this guy, this guy's kind of like the paladin of the group. But he's very different, though. He's got a lot in common with the paladin. But he's, he feels very different. Closing in on a new pass up here, which I think is going to be the Kasim outpost. I think we're closing in on that. I don't know why, but on my other character, this part felt like it took so long. I don't know why. So I've only been at it now for like an hour. I've already done a lot of optional stuff that I didn't have to do. And I feel like I'm almost at Kasim Outpost. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what why this felt like it took so long before for me. It is with some reluctance that I write on the seven lords of hell. For they are the greatest of the demons. And even whispering their names seems to poison the air around me. They are divided into the lesser evils, Belial, Asmodan, Turiel, and Andariel, and the prime evils, Mephisto, Baal, and Diablo. Oh, just looking around. All right. Captain of the Guard, you are hereby ordered to send a band of your most loyal men to secure the Kasim outpost. Control of the city hangs by a thread. The commoners are becoming restless, and it is imperative that we subdue them. Remain vigilant, for there may already be an outsider within our borders looking to stir up trouble. Greetings. I'm headed to Alcanus, but this gate seems to be blocking my way. You must be mad. But if you're intent on rushing headlong to your death, talk to Captain David down in the command post. He's got the gate key. Captain David's got the gate key, okay. Down here in the command post. Here you are, delivered unto me as a sacrifice, a gift from Lord Belial. He used you as a distraction, and I let him. Killing you is worth a delay. <laughs> no! He would never betray me! Strike him down! He's left you to pay for Cain's death. Crusader's awesome. Not a moment too soon. They plan to sacrifice us to Belial. I will take back the town! Kill the disguised demons in Kasim Outpost. Well, this this seems this seems to be the, the mob here that I gotta kill. <laughs> Spawned right into it, basically. Any more? Has Magda reached Alcanus? Yes. We've heard rumors of a horrible slaughter there. Then time is short. Please, open this gate. My bag is full. Yeah, alright. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, uh, go let's back. go back, back to town. 
sell my stuff. Got some new some new talkies here. Do you have any other family? My brother and I were orphans. We only had each other. Was he a thief as well? No. He was a member of the city guard. Well, that must have caused some trouble. Not as much as you might think. Until the end, that is. I have considered what we discussed. And you are correct. I know little about my past, beyond what my order has told me. But what does it matter? Look what they have done for me. They've turned me into a living weapon. A light against darkness. Do you believe that? What do you want from me, Crusader? The memories were taken from me. It's done. No one can take your memories. They can only hide them. You may be right. I will find a way to take back my memories and exonerate my order. Why didn't you become a guard like your brother? We're not much alike, really. He was always dependable and practical. A complete bore, I'd say. And you were drawn to trouble? Hardly. I was just amusing myself with the Thieves' Guild. It was nothing serious. You were on opposite sides of the law. <laughs> uh, that may have been serious. <laughs> I have thought of a way to retrieve my lost memories. But it is dangerous. I must ask you to promise me something. Should I lapse into my old sins, whatever they may be, you must kill me as I killed John Dar. You have my word. What is your plan? I found a journal on John Dar's corpse, written in an ancient Templar cipher. I can translate it, but it will take some time. Perhaps studying his treachery will give me a clue into my past. This worries you. John Dar was once a man of faith, devoted to the Templar order. What if he discovered something that made him betray himself? Matters not, for I must do this anyway. How long have you been seeking me? Well, it was not very easy to find you. I had to search for days. When I woke up alone, I did not know what had happened. I wrote about it a little. You may read more if you wish. I felt no fear when they sealed the tomb before me. Only a sense of peace as my mind drifted away into the darkness. It seems I opened my eyes only seconds later, and beheld the chamber in ruins, half buried in sand. I have left everything behind. Only hope guides me now. I right, still have, uh, some more talkies I want to listen to, but let's, uh, let's clear out some of this inventory first. Uh... To kind of break up the monotony of narrative. Radiant Thorn. Uh, let's see here. Fatal, fatal Blockade. That's the one I had equipped for. I like that one. Claw Desire. Oh. Eminence Feast. It's an eminence feast. It's an eminence feast. It's put on. <laughs> it's an eminence feast. <laughs> it's a put on. It's a put on. Gold wrap. I think I had this on my other character.
Journeyman Havoc. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, All right. Send that gift out from my friend. Got my health potions. Got my. Mm, use my plan. Okay. Let's, uh, plus six to resist all elements. That sounds good. Don't need intelligence. Dexterity's okay. Vitality, there we go. And more vitality. Yeah, that's that's good. I like that. Did I repair? I gotta repair. Okay. So I think that does it for inventory management. Okay. She's gotta say a couple more things. About your world, Irena. Beautiful cities towered up toward the heavens, but they were full of wickedness. The Vigerai ruled them with wills sharp as stone. The Vigerai. A clan of mages, bound more by their lust for power than by blood. I see that their influence has waned in this age. Was the prophet one of them? Oh no. He meant to punish the Vigerai. They were the first to summon demons into this land. Has everything the prophet foretold come true? Well, I did not expect you to keep company with the Seraph. Tyrion? I knew what he was the instant I beheld him, but being in his presence makes me quite nervous. Why is that? He is only here to aid us. We do not deserve it. Tyrael sacrificed all he knew to aid us. I hope it is worthwhile. Yeah, Tyrael's pretty awesome. Did you miss the stink and the pump? I told myself I'd never come back here, and yet here I am. Because of what happened to your father? Because of what happened to me. Some scars don't heal, and there's no point in scratching at them, is there? The weather doesn't suit me either. I hear you, dude. I hear you. All right. Whoa, hey, what was up with that? Little janky there, little janky. Alcanus is close. I'm coming, Magda. Yeah, my character looks pretty cool. I'm not sure about these pants. Uh, but other than the pants, yeah, my character looks pretty cool. Ah. Orbs of electricity. This guy's gonna level me up, I bet. Yeah. So we just got done with all that inventory management, and now it's time to look at my skills. There's always something going on. They can't just let me play the game, uh, you know, for like... I'd like to play the game for like half an hour without having to look at anything, but... Okay, well, we're, we're here looking, so... Let's see. Uh, I got... Let's see, I got a new pa some new passive skills unlocked here. Um... If I were to replace one, I'd want to replace Fervor. So we'll pick out that slot and look at this. Let's see. When you receive fatal damage, you instead become immune to damage, gain 35% increased damage, and gain uh, 1,207 life per kill for five seconds. W what does that mean? When I receive fatal, like every time I receive fatal damage? Oh, this effect may occur once every 60 seconds. Wow. That's crazy. 
So... I can, like, just straight up die, but instead of dying... I come back to life... And... I have 60 seconds. If I can survive another 60 seconds, I can keep going like a phoenix over and over and over and over and over again. That's kind of crazy. Wow, I'll, I'll take that. Jeez, that's, that's, that's a little overpowered, I think. All right, then we got a new horse thing. Screw that, don't care. All right, new, uh, new rune for Laws of Valor. Let's see what we got. Um, right now I have the rune for, uh, increases my life on hit, but I could elect for the, ru the rune, uh, frozen in terror, which, uh, uh, empowers the law also grants a chance to stun all nearby enemies. So either more life or stun is what I'm looking at compared to, uh, I'm not, I'm not looking at one that doesn't even have a skill rune yet, because I feel like that would be a downgrade. Uh, as opposed to... Uh, reduces the amount of damage me and my allies take with... Uh, redirects some of the damage taken by your, uh, by your allies to you. Uh, we'll go with the, the... We'll stick with the Laws of Valor. And uh, so I'm basically deciding between life on hit... Or stun all nearby enemies. Uh, we'll go with stun for a while, I guess. Stun's good, especially when you're in, in like a group. Akarat's champion. Explode with the fury of your order, increasing your damage and wrath regeneration. Versus falling sword. Launch yourself into the heavens and come crashing down on your enemies. I'm not getting rid of falling sword, that's for sure. Um... But there's a rune here. The ground you fall on becomes superheated, damaging all enemies who pass over it. Cool, so it's like an AoE also. Man, this is like some overpowered stuff. So I got everything I want, right? Let me just double check here. Everything that I want. Okay, see, good thing I checked. Consecration has a rune open that I didn't notice. A larger area of ground is consecrated, and you and your allies heal for a greater amount. Good thing I checked. Okay, so got got that. Making sure I got everything that I want. Yeah, yeah, yep. Cool. We are good. We are good to go. This guy's got some seriously overpowered moves. It's a little nuts, actually. Like, I'm kind of surprised. Like that one about like just dying and regenerating like infinitely as long as there's a minute in between. That's crazy. Bet you thought I was dead. Nope. Chuck Tesla. I mean, that's crazy. That's like way overpowered. Like there might as well not even be death in this game anymore. I mean, that's nuts. I bet you that would be something that like if you were playing on hardcore would be like an indispensable uh, skill. Like you would pretty much like have to have that one uh, ready. The, the ground, it's shaking. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> my legs. Is this is, is this an event or like? Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, hey. All right, come on. That guy wasn't really that tough. I expected him to be a little tougher because of the, you know, the uh, kind of cinematic that was involved. So they went through a lot of trouble to uh, introduce a, a character that wasn't really all that strong. Kind of disposable, to be honest.
kind of disposable. Oh yeah, there's this thing. Mm-hmm. Metin, the necromancer. What brings you here, necromancer? Powerful spirits haunt these ruins. I was not strong enough to defeat them, but I was able to trap them. I fear the coven that invades the region will try to use the spirits for their nefarious purposes. But if you dare, you can try to put them to rest. Activate the totems to release the spirits. Be prepared to fight. Alright. Sounds good. Can you hear their angry voices? Still more remain. to speak with the necromancer the voices fade the spirits in this place are calm i can begin the work of freeing them yeah that was easy too easy the howling of the spirits lessons you have put them to rest or have i Wait. listen the i did play through this part recently but anybody could have seen that coming from a mile away you know what i mean Fear they will find other darker powers to exploit. Thank you, and go with the blessings of Rathma. Two decades ago, my mentor faced the forces of evil and emerged victorious. I cannot hope to surpass his achievements, but I will try to bring balance to the raging forces that threaten to tear the world asunder in these days. The spirits are restless near Chaldeum. I must quiet them. Okay, so that's the way I want it to go. So let's finish looking around up here first. This zone isn't much bigger. Or rather, this quadrant of this zone isn't much bigger. It's got a little corner up here I want to look at. Kill these wolverine bugs. This is the 
Is this this is is this the other side of that? Yeah, this is the other side of that place that was blocked off. Although it's like way on the other side. It's like it's the same roads blocked off in two places. of the seven evils and is a master of deceit it is said that he manipulated asmodan into revolt against the prime evil this began the burning hell civil war which ended with the dark exile of the prime evils to our mortal realm got some elite mobs up there Let's do this Ain't nothing but nothing. Come on, how do you guys expect to meet to beat me? Next time I'll use mustard. Help us! You can't leave us here. I got a free uh as a bonus, I got a free eight caged prisoners. I happen to know that there's more than eight. Uh, I don't want to be the douchebag that, like, frees eight and then just, like, ignores the other five. Like, oh, you guys, I don't have a quest to free you guys, so you can stay in your cages. <laughs> I'm going to free as many as I can. Even though I'm quite thorough, I always feel like I'm going to miss one. So I know some of them are like in these cellars. That's eight of them. So I don't have to free anymore. But like, why wouldn't I? <laughs> like, I'll, I'll totally do that, like, if I come across any. Like that guy. Or that guy. I owe you everything. Hey, you don't owe me nothing. I'm happy to do it. And that guy, and this guy. Have answered my prayers. Or this guy. Two. 
That guy's voice totally has a tree beard thing going on. Unless it's worth taking a long time to say. Ah, other way. <laughs> Hmm, I think this is about as far as I got on my other character. I think. I don't think I've gotten any further than this, so... I mean, I played this before on the PlayStation 3, but like... For playing it again, this is the furthest I've, I've got. I've gotten. I've got. This is the furthest I've got. This this is the furthest I've gotten. I don't know. Whatever. Actually, no. I think I did go through here. I yeah yeah yeah. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Man, I'm totally wrong. I did a lot more than this. What am I thinking? Lair of the Witch. Your little witch, Leah. Soon, her power shall be his. Alright. Sounds cool. Sounds cool, man. Finally get to fight you. Jeez. Drop some good stuff. Return to the hidden camp. Now, last time I came in here, there was no, like, random items spawned on the fringes of this arena, but I was going to walk around and take a quick look real, real quick before I commit, because I will not be coming back here, so... Did I see some gold? No, I did not. Let me just make sure there's nothing. 
And there's nothing. Return to the hidden camp. Right on. As she died, Magda swore Belial would rule all. I will not let that happen. I have translated a strange passage from John Dar's journal. Long before he began serving Magda, he found a set of what he called key words hidden in a dusty Libram. He writes that when he read these words, memories from his past returned to torment him. It was at that point that he began to mistrust the Order, though he did not say why. I am prepared to look upon these words and risk my soul. But I want you to understand something. I know I may die at any time. When I do, it must be without a single doubt that I am serving the light. A belief unchallenged is only an idea. You are ready for this. Thank you, my friend. But please, remember your promise. So basically, that's like the zombie bite promise. So if that dude gets bitten by a zombie, I gotta kill him. Right on, dude. Gotcha. Gotcha. How long has it been since you were in Chaldeum? Last time I passed through here, I was soon after meeting Mera. She wanted to stop and see the city, but I convinced her to travel on. My good memories of Chaldeum feel like I'm watching someone else's life. I'll be glad for us to be gone. How did you meet your wife? It's actually quite a tale. We met in a town not far from here on the outskirts of Curast. She was, well, you're not going to believe it. She was locked in a cage. Oh, I believe it. She was a criminal? No. They were going to burn her. A witch. Well, at least she wasn't a criminal. Let's talk about this another time. <laughs> this guy's sense of humor is great. <laughs> I love the Crusader, man. <laughs> hey, mister. I got some new things. You should take a look. I don't think any other, uh, any other of the classes really crack these subtle jokes the way the Crusader does. I, I haven't seen that with any of the other classes. I've only played three or four of the other classes. I haven't played them all, but I think that's that's unique to the Crusader. It's good. I, I like it. It's funny. All right. So I keep my Eminence Feast. I didn't want to get rid of that because it's Eminence Feasts put on. <laughs> That's great. Leoric's Crown. Mm-hmm. Nope, so. And put my gold wrap back on. Uh, sell that. Got my gems. Got my components. Repair everything. All right, cool. We are ready to continue on. Magda is dead. She claimed the Imperial Guard serves Belial and that it has captured Leah. Then they must be holding the Emperor against his will. I tremble to think what Belial might do with Leah and her growing power. The only chance we have to rescue Leah is to wrest the Emperor from the grasp of the Imperial Guard. The Shira of the Iron Wolves can get us to the Emperor. I will speak with her. A royal audience. How did your fall raise the dead? You were an angel. Not just any angel. I was the Archangel of Justice. 
My fall awoke the vengeful dead who were slain unjustly during Diablo's reign of terror. There was nothing I could do. As my power left my body, I had absolutely no control over it. Chaldeum is the greatest city in the world, the seat of the Empire of Kedjistan. It's large, I'll give it that. Its libraries overflow with undeciphered tomes of arcane knowledge. Its streets cover labyrinthine tunnels. It is a city of wonder and mystery. It's kind of like Paris, then. Gotcha. I do not know how these refugees persevere. Their situation is dire, and it seems there is little hope for them. Where do they find the strength to carry on? They carry on because they must. The only way out of life is death. I have much to learn. Told. Crusader just told the angel, man. What now? <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous that the Crusader would be like as wise as that to tell an angel. But there it is. <laughs> told. <laughs> I feel the in the very air. I see his shadow behind haunted eyes. Hear his voice whispering lies on the wind. He need not bring an army to this city. It is his already. That's dark, man. That's dark. <sighs> did I did I re did I repair? Yes, I did. Okay. A royal audience. Talk to Ashira at the gates of Chaldeum. All right. Why won't you let me in? Ashira, the Emperor and my friend are in grave danger. I must gain entry into the palace. I heard what you did at Kasim Outpost and Arcanus. You have my thanks, and you shall have my help. Captain Ravan, this man has vital information regarding the massacre in the Borderlands. We must see the Emperor at once. Very well, but I don't think you'll find him. Let them pass. Talk to Ashira and to enter the Imperial Palace. Let's okay. Go. I'll lead you to the palace. Coolness. You are bold to have sought this audience with me. My guards tell me you were responsible for the massacre of innocent villagers in Arcanus. But you know that's not true, don't you? If you are innocent, then why do you have spies skulking through my sewers? Bring her in! Let me go! I detest violence. God, yeah, run off. I leave this matter in your hands. Run off. All right, escape the Imperial Palace. Well, there's only one way to go. All right. Get out of here. I will cover your escape. Thank you. Now we need to get to the sewers. I'll explain why when we get there. Looks like a pretty nice place. And I'm just I'm just wrecking all of it. Yeah, it's nice. Reminds me very much of the uh, Blood Elf starting area in World of Warcraft.
blocking our way. We must destroy their summoning construct. <laughs> I think I destroyed all the summoning constructs. Now I want to destroy all the vases. It's like I'm playing Zelda over here or something. Clay pots. I mean, what do you, what do you want? You know, you put me in a game uh, that's melee oriented with breakable pots and a pretty good physics engine. I'm going to destroy that stuff. And I leveled up. Alright, let's see what we got here. That stuff doesn't need to change. Punish has a new skill rune. Let's see what that's all about. Uh, right now I have the... When you block with hardened senses active, you have a chance to explode with fury, fury, dealing damage to nearby enemies. That's pretty good. Or, when you block with hardened senses active, you regenerate life faster for a short time. Uh... I'm not, I'm interested in regenerating life, but not like faster for a short time. If this was, if this was like a permanent upgrade, like if it was like a, like a passive skill that just increased it, I would want that. But, uh, I think I want to stick with the, uh, the exploding with fury. I, I like that. So we'll stick with that for this particular skill. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we unlocked... Fist of the Heavens, which would replace Shield Bash. So it must, it, it'll have to be really good for me to consider that. Let's see what it is. Call forth a pillar of lightning from the heavens that explodes and splits into multiple bolts, damaging all nearby enemies. Now that sounds awesome, but it sounds like it's, it's pretty synonymous with my uh, falling sword skill. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put that one on. And I really like Shield Bash, so that's not going anywhere. Uh let's see, and I use I use Condemn, build up a massive explosion, unleashing it after three seconds, and that has a new skill rune. Vacuum. As the explosion charges up, it sucks in enemies. So like it has a black hole effect. Uh the closer it is to exploding, the more enemies it sucks in. That sounds awesome. Uh yeah, that's cool. I like that. There has to be a way into the sewers from here. Which one is that on? Hold on. With the, with the that's on uh, triangle. That's what I thought. Okay. This leads to the sewers. Ah, the sewers. You know, I've I've really started noticing as I've been playing games lately. Like every game has a portion of it in the sewers. Like, pay attention to that, because I think you'll be surprised. I was playing Broken Sword when I first started thinking about that. And that was years ago, and since then I've been paying attention. Dude, there's sewers in everything. Game developers love their sewer levels. I don't know what it, what is up with that, but there you go. Every game has sewers in it, man. Find the wretched pit. I found my mother, Adria. She's alive. But the Imperial Guard is holding her somewhere down here. We will find her. All right. Ah. So Margaret is telling the truth. Somehow I knew my mother was alive. Always knew it. Good news, I hope. Just remember that your mother may not be the person you have The old video game sewer level.
die. That creature must die. That creature must die. Man, come on. Jeez. Oh, yep. Oh, there keeps being more of them. All right, any more? Ew. Ew. Kind of gross. You guys want to crawl up here? No? I know they like to do that sometimes. There's some guys. Now, come on, target them. Uh, we're we're like running around in circles. Come on. Hmm. Okay. So I see the way to go. Well, let's check out the other directions first because. Uh, I want to finish exploring, make sure, make sure I get everything. There is something uh, down here somewhere that I want to be sure not to miss. Although it'll probably be on the next level. I think it's actually probably impossible to miss because I think it's like a kind of like a scripted event kind of thing. But nevertheless, I, I just, I feel like I need to be thorough here. branch off a couple times. I will see. Let's go check it out. Nope, that's a dead end. Okay. Alright, down to the next level. Huh? My exemplary servants. Keep the witch alive until she talks. Pain will lose her tongue, but only to a point. Remember what happened with the vizier's assistant? It was a pleasurable time, I admit. Adria should be up here. That was rude. You totally interrupted that guy, Leah. Didn't you want to hear the the tree beard knock off some more? Okay, up here. I was thinking it went down, but it goes up. All right, up into the wretched pit. Tell us about the Black Soul Stone! 
We know of the three that the Horadrum used to trap the primeval. What is the purpose of this one? Your master Belial has good reason to fear it. Leave her alone! Seize them! Alright, talk to Adria in the Wretched Pit. I'm just gonna go around and check the fringes here and make sure I'm not missing anything that I might want to pick up. Because probably once I talk to her, we'll be leaving this place and probably not coming back. Ah! <laughs> There's another one of those. All right. Leah, my daughter. You know who I am? My darling, I've watched over you all your life. But I never dared get close because of the danger that always shadows me. It is not safe here. Let's move. Talk to Adria in the hidden camp. Okay. Before I do that... Let's uh, sell some of this crap here. Yeah, I don't. I don't really feel like too much has changed on my character since I started playing. Except I got the Eminence Feast, which I'm still kind of stoked about. Ooh. Wow, all right. Plus 83 to vitality, 55 to strength. Yeah, right on. Cool, man. That's pretty good. Uh, yep. Oh, repair my stuff. And, uh... What was it? Oh, from a friend. Send that. And I think that's it as far as inventory management goes. Nothing needs a gemstone in it. I had to talk to these people. What happened to your brother? Nothing you'd want to hear. I asked, didn't I? And then what? I suppose you'll make it all right. You'll fix it up just like another one of your little errands. Some things aren't that easy. Then I will wait until you are ready. Dear God, you're so noble about it too. <laughs> Spare me. What a jerk. Trying to be nice to people. Man, screw that guy. You're distracted. It is merely the consequence of seeing that which is not readily visible. I have accepted it. I understand, but we're in unforgiving circumstances and I'd hate to see you die. You are right. I must pay attention. Yet, I feel as though part of me still sleeps in a faraway realm. You have been through a lot. It will fade in time. That would be nice, but the feeling I have indicates that it is more unpleasant and complicated than that. I'm surprised Cain never told you why I left. He knew I was called to fight the Lords of Hell. And I knew he would keep you safe. He's gone now. Then it's fate that we have been reunited. Cain's work, your work, is my war. According to the Herodric texts, only two evils remain. Belial is here in Chaldeum, and Asmodan has yet to reveal himself. All right, um, that's halfway through Act 2. That was a relatively quick episode compared to the episodes I've been doing for Act 1. But that's the halfway mark, so I'm going to go ahead and call that the stream. Uh, be sure to tune in uh, next Monday at 8 for the second half 
of uh, Act Two. That'll be uh, uh, the fourth circle of couch. So be sure to tune in for that. And check the schedule down there for uh, the rest of the episodes. I'm planning on playing through the whole thing. And also check the schedule down there for my October 7th event, uh, Super Game Couch EX. We're playing a lot of cool games in one day, like four episodes in one day, like back to back to back to back. So that's going to be awesome. So be sure to check that out. Uh, See you next Monday. Thanks for watching.